Antarctic UK detention centre choked, abused and forced migrants naked themselves. This is from The Independent today. And it's talking about the situation at Brook House. There's some footage of this online at the BBC's article on the same thing. Where you have guards are doing wonderful jokes and wisecracks about how they don't care if prisoners die. And endless fights and people being dragged around naked. But let's read out the independence or version of events. Migrants were taken from their cells, naked and dangerous restraints u- techniques used. The inquiry found officers at UK detention centre choked, abused and forced migrants naked from their cells amid a toxic culture where detainees were mistreated in prison-like conditions. A bombshell inquiry was revealed. I wouldn't actually be terribly surprised by that. The problem with many of these centres... Um, is they use security operatives who are on minimum wage and have basic training for this sort of stuff and stick them in a high-stress environment. This leads to these sort of wonderful clashes. These people have a best basic training on restraint in many cases and don't know how to use it, which leads to tragic circumstances. You also end up with a, a clash of personalities. Police have thought how to de-escalate t- um, situations. In theory, security officers are, but most of them only know the very basics of how to do that. And often you end up with thuggish little cliques for, are forming. If people think I'm being harsh, I've actually worked in this industry. So I know it from the inside out. Mm. And I know that the silly comments about darkies and people of other colours and ethnic group backgrounds spring up all the time. In one job where I was in charge, I actually th- threw a guard off a site where he started going on about um, black people. They're all shoplifters, you know what I mean? That's, that you only need to watch them. He kept this up so for, for several days, watching people at an event, and had to be removed eventually after causing a massive amount of stress by stopping people like 65-year-old black grannies going out to get the train and insisting they'd stolen books when it turned out that it was their own copy of a book that they'd had signed by someone at the event. Unfortunately, the industry is ripe is replete with such people who really could stand to use some common sense and realise that any person can be a potential problem in an event regardless of being black or white. The same sort of attitude seems to be one being brought to bear in Brook House. And it's not the first time we've had this issue either where the government skimps and uses low skill personnel to do jobs that require far more training. I went up. Oh, I'm interested to see what the report that's been authored into this will turn up. I suspect a systematic um, litany of cruelty and silliness will emerge. Readers can see how bloggers fuel themselves but by my windowsill as well before I carry on. There's a nice chocolate protein pudding there and a cup of coffee. Um, in any case, unfortunately, much of the discourse on this is likely to retreat to the usual they're living in four-star accommodation nonsense. No, they're not. I wish people would stop printing this rubbish. They do not live in four-star accommodation. And yes, I do think that the homeless in this country should be housed as well before someone brings that up. I think it's possible to do both, not just to do one or the other. The problem is that the situation has become so so contentious that if you even protest the mistreatment of... Immigrants at this point, you will be accused of wanting open borders of millions of them in here. Not the case. I don't believe in unlimited immigration. I'm not sure what the solution to the problem is, but the solution is not to abuse people, drag them down corridors, and create tensions in a building that's already full of people in desperate situations. One possible solution is to look at having people who are more highly trained running these institutions and who are more aware of how they come across when they start escalating situations.